Hey guys, I took a test shot of Heart Nebula using Celestron Rasa 11 with CGXL mount. So this is a 30 seconds hydrogen alpha with monochrome camera. I'm actually playing with PhD2 and I took a 30 second test shot. It came out good. So I created a sequence with 20 exposures. Each exposure is like 120 seconds. So like for 40 minutes. I'm using 7 nanometer after long filter. I really like that filter. It's better than other filters that I had seen. The readout is good. The focusing is okay. The stars in the middle, they're called mellow. M-E-L-O-T-T, -T, I think. Yeah, they are, that's like a center of heart. It's a beautiful uh, area. To see the whole, the whole thing is beautiful. They are like so many sun kind of size or bigger than sun kind of a size kind of stars in the middle. Uh, the picture is coming good. It's not blowing up. I mean, it's kind of overstretched right now. My guiding is doing okay. It's doing that minimum dither. Thanks to all my friends who suggested the minimum dither. Thanks to Chuck Astrophotography, Mitch Astro Dude, other people who gave me some suggestions on this one. I had that raining effect. That's why I kind of uh, playing around with it. So it's doing the guiding okay. So I kept taking pictures like now I'm at seven pictures now so far. You know, some of the, the conditions are very bad. It's like the clouds are just moving through. So anyway, I completed taking 20 pictures. I processed them in PixInsight. This is the integrated shot of 20 pictures. A uh, total of 40 minutes exposure time in H-alpha. It came out actually better than I expected. <clears throat> I remember taking a picture uh, using Hyperstar with Celestron 8 though. Yeah, this is... Uh, so like almost like 11 inches, so it's much bigger telescope, of course. Yep, I like uh, how it turned out. You know, stars are not too bloated. I'm not too technical, but I don't see the raining effect at all. It's gone. And with the dithering, I think the raining effect was gone. It actually very clean. Uh, it removed all the noise after I took the darks, bias, and flats as much as it can. I mean, rest of that we can clean them up anyway, um, you know, in processing. But this is uh, just hydrogen alpha. I didn't go all the way down to oxygen or sulfur or anything. So, yeah, this is a good start. Uh, I started with Rasa 11, I went into one shot color and that came out okay, I tested a couple of shots, then I jumped into monochrome and I got stuck because I had that raining effect going on and I didn't know what was happening, the guiding wasn't going well when I was trying that, I fixed the guiding to some level, I still have some issues there. That's with the mount, but when it comes to the telescope, I think uh, now we have, uh, I think this one came out fine. I think, uh, yeah, if, if I have more clear nights, if I can find some, I'll try to complete the picture. Well, thanks for watching.